Hello everybody, this is Freddy Jr. 2707 and uh, I'm just gonna do um, a tutorial on how to make a Modern Warfare 2 layout with GIMP and not Photoshop because GIMP is free and Photoshop is not so uh, I'm gonna be posting this in parts guys so this is just gonna be the first part so number one what you're gonna need to do is um, get yourself a uh, it's a 1280 by 720 background. I have one on my desktop, so I can always um, access it. And you need to make sure it's 1280 by 720. This is a very uh, overused background, but still I use it. So once you have this, you want to create a new layer. Name it Guns. And uh, select the Rectangle tool about halfway double click and create a rectangle similar to this then you can select the gradient tool or the bucket tool and uh... fill it with whatever you want and then you want to make another layer this is how you do my layout you don't i don't recommend doing it the same way i do because that's like copying but you can do it similar to the way i do it i'm just gonna show you how i do it okay so then you want to make another one called equipment and uh, do the exact same thing except you want to make a little square and uh, same thing with the gradient tool you can use the bucket if I hadn't said already but whatever just make one for perks or if you want to have your special grenade you can make one for that too and uh, make a new one for perks select the rectangle tool and from right here like that and fill it in with something and now you're gonna wanna make another layer name it kill streaks or kill counter depending on what you wanna put select the rectangle tool and do as I do similar to this not exactly but and again with the gradient like that so now you're done with all the uh... things the rectangles i guess now you're gonna wanna go into your um... finder or no, no no this is if you're using mac you're gonna wanna find your modern warfare 2 pictures okay i have mine on my desktop and uh... there they are so uh... Here is, um, you want to open up your weapons and whatever weapon you're using. I'm not using this for a real layout, so I'm just going to use the ACR here, for example. You're going to want to make this if you're using Mac. If you're using a PC, I'm not sure how you would go about doing this, but this is how you do it for Mac. Copy it. Go over here. Edit. And this is really important, guys. Paste as a new layer. And select the move tool and drag it down here and you're gonna wanna rename that the name of your gun and uh... now you wanna put the attachment of that primary gun so find the attachment let's say I'm using ACOG for it for example just drag over it copy exit edit, paste as new layer, drag it over, and rename it, attach or something, whatever you want to name it, doesn't really matter, and uh, then you just want to do the same thing with secondary gun, it's the exact same thing, just do what I just did here, and now for equipment, you're going to want to choose whatever you're using blast shield for example no one uses blast shield but you want to edit copy exit out edit paste as new layer make sure it's new layer it's really important and put it here or wherever you've made your box thing rename it equipment or whatever you want to name it and now 
you need your perks. I'm not going to put every perk. I'm just going to put one just to give you an example. Let's say marathon I'm using. Do the same exact thing. Uh, doesn't take that long to do, but for me it's pretty fun making these, but, you know, it's whatever you want. Just put it wherever you want. Just want to make sure you're moving that. Rename it. Perk. One. And now, for your kill streak awards. I'm not going to do every kill streak award again. Because I'm just giving you examples. And here are all your kill streaks. I have renamed them in mine. You can do that, I guess, to yourself. Let's say I'm going to use the Predator Missile. Just drag over it. Edit, copy, edit, paste as new layer. And rename it Pred or whatever you want to name it. Drag it over into your Killstreaks box. And now you see it looks really small. If you want to change the size of anything, for example, uh, you just want to go to layer. And you're going to want to go to scale layer. And here's where you're choosing the layer size. And for me, I personally put kill streaks at 100 every time because I think it's just a suitable size. You can make it bigger or smaller if you want, but that's just my personal preference. So here's your layout, except I hope when you do it, you actually use everything else. I'm just not doing it. And then you're going to want to go to save as whatever you want to name it, wherever you want to save it. And make sure you save it as a JPEG image. Make sure it is saved as a JPEG image. It's very important. I'm not going to save it, but that's it for the GIMP side. And uh, also, guys, you can make another rectangle. You don't have to do this. I personally don't because it's unnecessary. But, uh,. You can make another rectangle, name a video. You can make another layer and select the rectangle tool and uh, just make another thing. You're going to want to make sure this is 1280 by 720. You just make another rectangle like this and that's basically where your video would go. You don't have to do it that way. I, I don't like doing it, but it, it works. So, yeah. So now you want to, that's it for the GIMP side. And uh, go over to part two to see how to do get it into iMovie. Thanks.